This video will encompass my top 25 favorite partner passing drills over my career. Every single footballer that you see in this video is a current professional footballer, and every single drill was used in our own off season to prepare for our upcoming professional seasons. I'll let each drill play out first so you can watch it, and then I'll do a slow-mo breakdown about what's happening in the drill and our focus points. So let's get into it. So starting off, we have a very simple one-touch passing drill where the only rule pretty much is on the right side of the box, you need to use your right foot, and on the left side of the box, you need to use your left foot. When you're in the middle, you can use either foot, and then you just have to follow the passing sequence. So I'm sure you can pick up the pattern of this drill, but really focusing on the little details here. So on this touch, it's the outside foot of the drill. So in this case, the outside foot is gonna be the left foot and tapping across the body back over the right. Then you bounce with the right, bounce with the left, check the shoulder as you back up. And then now the outside foot of the drill, the right foot's on the outside. And I'm gonna take my touch across the body, 90 degrees back over to the start. So again, same exact pattern. The only difference that I'm sure you guys picked up is that we're gonna take that touch with the inside foot of the drill. So in that case, it was the left foot. We're gonna pop the ball out, bounce with the left, bounce with the right, check the shoulder, drop back, and now touch inside, opening up the body 90 degrees back over to the start. Once again, I'm sure you guys can spot the difference, but we're gonna bounce with the left, bounce with the right, drop back and check the shoulder. And then with the outside part of the foot, we're gonna take that touch across those four cones back laterally. So this time we're gonna use the left foot, outside part of the left foot back across. Last variation of this drill, I promise, but you're gonna bounce with the right, bounce with the left, drop back, and then sole roll with the bottom of your foot 90 degrees across your body. So you're gonna use the outside foot of the drill, in this case, the left foot, use the sole, and roll it across your body 90 degrees back to the start. This drill is extremely basic on the surface level. All you're gonna do is shuffle back and forth, right and left, and just bounce the ball either one or two touches back to your partner. The only tricky part about this drill is your partner's gonna shout out either one or two, and then depending on that command, you're either gonna take one or two touches.
Now we're just adding one layer more to this drill. So it's the same thing. Your partner's calling out one or two, and then you have to use either one or two touches to play the ball back, purely reactive. The only caveat to this, the only additional thing now is he can also shout turn. So if he shouts turn, you then ideally want to use the outside part of your foot to turn 45 degrees behind you, round that cone with the outside part of your foot, come back to center, play the ball, and then immediately hop right back into the passing shuffle drill. Again, adding one more layer to this drill, now your partner can also shout out bounce. So if he shouts out bounce, you're gonna play that ball one touch, open up 90 degrees, check the shoulder, receive the ball in the back foot, and then round that orange cone now all the way back to center, play it back, and again, hop back in a passing shuffle drill. This gets really hard, and it kind of messes with your mind when there's four different commands. You try not to predict it and just go purely reaction-based. <laughs> Extremely basic drill here, but as a pro, you want to be a master of the basics. And all this is, is just receiving the ball with the inside part of your foot, adjusting maybe even a little body faint, and then tapping the ball with the outside part of the foot back outside. And then just repeating over and over again, staying sharp, no bouncing, no bobbles. Now we're using both feet, so we're gonna receive the ball with the inside part of one foot, and then with the opposite foot, use the outside part of that foot to tap it back across. As you can see, we have four cones on the ground. It's an intentional part of the drill because we want to take that touch with the same weight every single time out wide. So we're not taking it too far and going past that fourth cone or taking it too close and hitting that near cone. It's really, really controlled. Now this is the inside touch to the opposite foot. We're gonna do an inside pass, so an inside, inside. The only thing is that I'm really focusing on is almost snapping that ball across. So it's a quick touch, almost with a little bit of deception, hitting it with the same weight, and then just trying to limit my foot steps so I'm not taking a ton of extra additional steps before I pass the ball back. Another reaction drill. So your partner's first gonna play in a pass, which you'll bounce back with one touch. And then on the second pass, as he hits it, he's gonna call it a color. If he calls out white or red, like you just saw, you're gonna take an immediate touch out the sides of the box and then hit a pass into the near corner of the goal. Even though we're passing the ball into the goal, I'm treating this like a 15, 20 yard pass on the ground instead of a shot. If he calls out blue or orange like you just saw, you're then going to round the cone with, on the dribble, round that cone, and then pick up your head and a little bit further of a pass now to hit it to that near side of the goal just like that. Even though it's on goal, I'm treating all of this like it's a pass. Come on, do it. 
Now we're adding another layer to this drill and hopefully you guys can understand, but he's also calling out a number as well as a color. So here's blue two. So I need to round my blue cone, just as you saw in the first drill, but I also need to play it into the correct side of the goal. The number refers to which side of the goal it is. So if he calls out two before a color, I need to hit the ball to the two cones side of the goal. If he calls out one, obviously I need to hit it to the one cone side of the goal. This wasn't the cleanest set actually, as you can see by some of these passes, but still it becomes a lot more difficult when not only you have to react to the color, but you also now need to react to where you're playing that final pass. In this drill, we start to add a little bit of competition to the first touch and passing. So here, we're gonna call out a number as you guys probably got. The number refers to where you need to take your first touch. So if Andrew calls out one, I need to take my touch towards the side of the gate that has one cone. Once I take my touch outside of that cone, I hit a pass through the gate back to Andrew while I call out another number. You keep going like this until somebody messes up. So you either mess up by taking the touch in the wrong direction, not taking your touch far enough to get outside of the gate, or if your pass doesn't go back through the center of the gate. It looks very easy and simple, but as you start playing and fizzing in the passes, it gets a lot harder. Here's another passing sequence that hopefully, once again, you can start to pick up the pattern as you watch it. It's one touch everywhere except for two touches at the very back of the tee. So as I move to the right, I'm using my right foot there. I'm gonna to move to my right using my right foot. As I come back to the left, I'm using my left foot, left foot, backing up, left foot, backing up once again, and then I'm gonna use two touches, kill it my foot, and restart the pattern. Again, in the center, you can kind of use whatever, but as I start to move left, it's left foot moving left, left foot as i come back towards my right i'm not going to use my right foot right foot and then just restart the sequence again one touch here checking the shoulder and then two touches at the very back Here's just another variation of the T passing drill. So it's one touch everywhere. The only difference as you can see is at the very back portion of the T. Now I'm gonna take my touch and turn 45 degrees behind me out one of the sides of the T. The direction really doesn't matter, but I like to vary it up left one time, right the other side. So here, as you just saw, that's left foot outside of the left foot, taking my touch 45 degrees behind me. Like I have a defender behind me, turning, cutting, bringing the ball back and restarting that T passing sequence once again. Final variation of the T passing pattern, same thing, except now on that back portion of the T, we're scuffing the pass. So passing the ball up in the air, ideally around shin or knee height, so that we need to take the ball kill it, get it under control as fast as possible, and then play the ball back and restart that T passing sequence once again. Yeah, thanks, thanks. 
cut. But I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Here's an incredibly simple drill, but a really, really game realistic one at the pro level, where it's going to bounce in that first pass with one touch, pop a few yards wide, receive the pass on the half turn, and then hit like a 10, 15 yard pass into that mini goal. Hopefully your guys' mini goal isn't as flimsy as ours and stays up, but the idea here is game realistic, bouncing man on, checking your shoulder, opening up, taking the touch on the half turn, and then finding that mini goal for a 10, 15 yard pass accurately every time. Same drill as before, checking away, popping in, bouncing the ball, checking the shoulder. The only difference here is that we're switching up the angle. So instead of going 180 degrees where you're turning 180 degrees behind you, now it's at 90 degrees. So the pass is coming in from the side. So bouncing in, checking the shoulder, popping back, taking the touch out, finding your target, and then trying to hit in a little bit longer. We stepped it back about five yards. So 20 yard pass now into the mini goal. Same concept, again, very, very game realistic and something that you'll need to do all the time at the pro level. Another reactive drill where your partner is going to either shout out turn or man on. If he shouts out turn like you just saw, you're receiving the ball in the half turn, opening up and hitting a 15 yard pass into the mini goal. He says man on, you're bouncing, checking your shoulder, taking a few steps wide, receiving the ball in the half turn, opening up and again about an 18 yard pass into the mini goal. Once again, even though this is on the big goal, I'm treating that final pass as a pass instead of a shot. So I'm receiving the ball, opening up, and pretending like I'm hitting a 15-yard pass into a teammate that's standing right there. I'm guessing a lot of you guys are starting to understand the concept of these drills and get the pattern of it, but this is another first touch and passing reactive drill where your partner is going to shout out either man on and turn. He says turn, just like that, you're going to open up and take your touch 45 degrees away from that passer. He says man on, you take your touch in front of you, in front of that front cone, and then fire a pass into one of the two mini goals. The second word he says as he pass it is either blue or black, and that refers to the blue goal or the black goal. So it'll be man on blue. Man on black, turn black, turn blue, and that determines where you need to take your first touch as well as where you need to hit your pass.
simple passing combination. You're gonna high step laterally through these three cones, back up, check the shoulder, and then at this back cone, just take two touches to kill the ball at your feet, play it back into your partner, do a little bounce pass with one touch, and then repeat that high step through these three cones and just repeat the same exact thing on the other side. The only real focus point of this is when you're on the left side of the drill, I'm using my left foot. As I come over to the right side of the drill, I'm using my right foot to both bounce the ball back, as well as take the touch with the right foot and play it in with the right foot again. So everything on the right side is with the right, everything on the left side is usually with the left, unless it's a crazy pass that comes over to the wrong side of your body. But that's the idea of this drill. This is the next level or the next variation of this drill. Same exact concept, bouncing with the left, checking the shoulder, backing up. But this time I'm gonna take my touch inside of that cone with usually the outside part of my right foot, but sometimes also with the inside part of the foot. So same concept, high stepping through on the right side, bouncing with the right foot, checking the shoulder. Now taking my touch inside to kind of turn inside at 45 degrees, pull the ball back, pass it back to my partner, and then restart the drill again. Very simple warm up drill here. I'm just gonna check away, plant inside of this blue circle that I have on the ground. And as I check back, pass the ball back with either one or two touches. And I vary it every time. So the first time is with one touch, the second time is with two touch. There's not much to this drill, but it's just something to warm up the body, get some balance going on, working on the stability of the knee and the ankle and the leg, as well as start to get some touches in before we progress to more advanced exercises. And finally, just the next variation or next level to this drill. All it is now is just we're adding a little touch and pass sequence behind the circle after we check away and bounce back that ball. So as you can see, quick check away, come to the ball, bounce it back with the right foot, check the shoulder and back up behind the circle, tap across with the right foot, and then pass back with the left foot, then restart the drill. Just flipped on the opposite side, bounce with the left foot, back up on the opposite side of the circle, check the shoulder, tap across with the left foot, pass back with the right foot, and that's the drill. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my top 25 favorite drills that I've done over the last couple of years. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.